Hi, this is Philip Byrne for Phonescoop.com, and here I'm looking at the Motorola Droid Pro, which is sort of a droid answer to a BlackBerry device. As you can see, it's got a 3.1 inch touchscreen up top. Touchscreen resolution is a little bit low, it's only HVGA on this phone, but I didn't really have any problems with it. You can still read text very clearly, pictures and icons still look pretty good on this display. As you can see, it also has a full QWERTY keyboard below, and this keyboard is almost an exact replica of a QWERTY that you'll find on a BlackBerry device. It's got the same sort of angled look to the keys. Even the button layout is remarkably similar here. Looking around the phone, you get some nice customization options. First of all, you can program that keyboard to act as shortcuts. So here I have Search and A, and that opens up the Wi-Fi mobile hotspot service. This button here on the side is also fully programmable. I have it set to act as a camera button, but you can set it to open up any single app on the phone, anything you like. Now Motorola isn't promoting the Moto Blur features on this phone quite so heavily as on other Droid phones, but it still has all of the social networking features. It has these great customizable widgets that I really liked using. And it's got all the social networking you'll need, plus some business features thrown in. It's got enhanced email features for corporate email users. You can set an out-of-office message from the phone, for instance. It has lots of improved security and better device administration if you have your IT managers setting up your device for you. And all around, I thought this was a pretty nice device. Unfortunately, it does suffer from a few serious fundamental flaws. Call quality on this phone is it's sort of odd. It has very, very extensive noise cancellation technology, which really gives calls a very digitized sound, and sometimes it sort of muffles things much more than I'd like. Phone also gets very warm even when you're using it only for a short period of time. As long as you're accessing that data network, the phone's going to get a little hot in your hands. Also, for a while, the GPS maps thought I was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, when really I'm north of Dallas. So that was kind of an annoying problem, but it's fixed itself all of a sudden, and I haven't had that problem since. In other ways, the Droid Pro really impressed me in ways I wasn't expecting from a business phone. For instance, this has a very cool music player with some nice features. It's got a very good camera. The 5 megapixel camera took some very nice pictures. Here you can see the camera interface. And I really like all the social networking that Motoblur can handle. It really makes it easy to update status on Twitter and Facebook and other networks. This phone even ties in with LinkedIn for a more business approach. And I really thought it did a nice job all around. So the calling problems might keep some folks away. But I think that overall this is a pretty good phone, and I think it's probably one of the first Android phones that's really going to entice BlackBerry users to come and join the Android family. For Phonescoop.com, this is Philip Byrne.